some pretty interesting experiences in my small 18 years lifespan. <laughs> um, so I'm a psychology major here in Randolph. And usually, you know, psychology majors, we're pretty um, crazy. It's like the crazy helping the crazy. So um, I, I came here um, for more of a serious note. Um, typically, another reason I'm going into psychology is because most people look down upon anyone with a psychological disorder. Like, as soon as you say, I have bipolar, I have depression, people just want to look away. You know, I came here to talk about it because uh, it's no shame. I looked up the definition of shame before I came here. It's, it was a painful, strong emotion caused by guilt or embarrassment. Most people with a psychological disorder feel shame. They don't, it's one of those taboos in society that no one wants to talk about. As soon as you say, I overdosed, which I have, as soon as you say that, someone looks at you in a different way. As soon as you say, I hurt myself, you're automatically deemed crazy. It's, it's not the same. Society makes it so that you have to struggle, so that you have to feel that pain on your own. And that pain, every day you wake up wondering how you're going to feel, what kind of day you're going to have. You don't know if you're going to have a good day, you don't know if you're going to have a bad day. You don't know if you're going to have some sort of anxiety attack, or if someone's going to look at you and that judgment is just going to make you feel like shit. Because I guess I, I like most people, care what other people think. I do. I, I can't help it. I wish I couldn't, but I do. So as soon as anyone says anything negative, or it seems like it's negative, the day automatically turns to a shitty day. And then there are times where you see someone and it reminds you of your past and it scares the shit out of you. Another taboo in society is that people who have been sexually abused shouldn't talk about it. People shouldn't talk about it. I was abused. It's something that I try to hide, just like my overdose. Because people look at you in a different way. People you don't understand. That, that violation those people feel guilty. And it's easy for society to say, it's, it's not your fault. It's, it's their fault. But believing that is a whole different story. You can tell me as many times as you want to that it's, it's not my fault. But I doubt that I will ever believe that. I feel like it was my fault because I let it happen. It doesn't matter that I was 10, 12, that doesn't matter. It was my fault. And those people who say fake it till you make it, I'm tired of faking it. Every time someone asks you how you're doing, if you say I'm doing bad or no one wants to hear that. You always have to say, I'm doing okay, I'm doing all right. You can't say I'm doing bad, because then someone has to ask why you're doing bad. Heaven forbid we actually start getting to how people really are. When someone says bad, care about them. Because that actually means that they trust you enough to say they're having a bad day. 
Not everyone does that. I know I can be having the worst day and I'll say I'm okay or all right, because I, I just, I, I don't want people to have to waste their time on asking me how I am. So next time you hear someone has bipolar, someone was abused, someone's depressed, don't judge them, help them.